Hey, Abundant Seed family, how are you today? I wish you and your family well today is another episode of what we have been doing in terms of bringing the right mentality, the right attitude to our community. Welcome to another day. Welcome to another video. Well, today I just want to share some something that was really, really personal to me um, last week or the last couple of weeks. We had a very challenging situation in the family and the way it happened we could have taken it in such a negative way because obviously based on what had transpired it was a really really traumatic experience and i chose to adopt the right attitude because i i, I once read a book by uh stan toler that book is called the power of your attitude and so some of the things that were said in that book, I really wanted to share it with you all today because, I mean, it would really help us somewhere along the line. And he said, basically, the first step to control the power of a positive attitude is to believe that your attitude, you know, does exert incredible influence over every aspect of your life. So it's, you know, your, the power of your positive attitude is to believe that your attitude does exert incredible influence over every aspect of your life. So you have to understand what that means. The way you deal with things will depend how things turn out in your life. You know, he basically said that, you know, uh, people could choose to have a positive mindset the chances or the choice that people make basically every day to shape the way they live you know and on the other hand you know some of us complain every single day based on what happened we complain every single day so it's just different perspectives of how people treat with things that they are confronted in their life and then you see on the other hand every day everything you know some negative attitudes that some of us display our attitude is negative everything looks so bad to them you know they look so bad to us but guess what everything will become bad if we look and we view everything as being bad and it's time that we really change that mindset because you know picture yourself living in a particular street and you are coming out of your gate now when you come out of your gateway you could either go left or right, east or west. That street is called the Decision Street. If you go east, you are developing a negative mindset. If you go west, you are developing a positive mindset. And so this is what life is about. Every situation that we are faced with, it all depends on how we would really treat that situation. You know, some of us may be thinking, you know, some things are really, really bad. We might just experience some really difficult situations. And, you know, it is a fact. Some of us face some really difficult, heartbreaking situations every single day. Now, the thing is, how we recover from that. Because we could look at that situation. Some people go into those situations and they come out satisfied. They come out peaceful and they come out so determined to move on. You know why others, they de develop a defeatist attitude. What caused the difference in behavior in the same situation? It is all about our attitude. I remember the saying, I don't know if you remember the saying, you know, take a licking, take a licking, but keep on ticking. So it doesn't matter what happens. Now, you know what is important of all of this? When you know who your God is. Because he said, I will never leave you, neither will I forsake you. So there is something that I say to myself all the time. And I want to leave it with you, abundant seed family. This is one of my declarations or a couple of my declarations. God is always with me. You know, yes, you could say, God is always with me. God is always helping me. God is always by my side. This is something that you can look at and really take for because guess what? 
you know we face that situation and we choose to be unhappy or we choose to be sad and you know our attitude it is the basic lens or frame that we can see ourselves the world and other people that is what our attitude is it is a basic lens or frame that we can see ourselves in and the way we see the world you know there are five critical ways that we can look at our attitude and we're going to look at that as we move on we're going to touch on each of them those five critical ways that really um treat us you know the way our attitude is gives power to our lives you know like thought you could think about the words so the, the things that we think thought the words that we use words our actions our habit and our choices so those five things thought the word our actions our habit and our choice we're going to look at those as we move along because it is very very important that we develop the right attitude so in this book uh the power of your attitude by stan tola there was a he spoke about a guy called uh charles swimdoll and charles swimdoll said the longer i live the more I realize the impact of attitude on life. He said, attitude to him is more important than facts. He said, it is more important than the past, than education, than money, than circumstances, than failure, than success, than what other people think say or do and, and and so it is important that we understand these simple contexts he, he went on to say that he was convinced that life is 10 percent 10 percent of what happens to him and the other 90 percent is how he reacts to it and so it is important it is so important that with us we take that kind of posture because we are in charge of our attitude what is so important about our attitude is the way we respond. And I deliberately use the word respond because things would confront us. We have confrontations in the house. We have discussions in the house. And it is all about our attitude that will bring the right resolution. It all depends on how we look at things. And so guys, I want us to start to guard our thoughts. It is so important that we are conscious or we always live in that conscious state of our thinking because it would help us to have the right attitude the way we view things. Now, something could happen most times when something happened to me. I would ask myself, what is God saying to me in this situation? What is God saying to me in this situation? Because what happened to me and my family over the last few days, it was not a very, very pleasant thing. And I asked myself a lot of questions. And so, the Holy Spirit reminded me of Job. Do you all remember what happened to Job? Job, it was recorded as probably one of the wealthiest men in the Bible. He was wealthy in terms of cattle and oxes and gold. And he had a few children. You know what happened? Job lost all his children. He lost all his cattle. As a matter of fact, he lost all his wealth. But what is important in all of this, sometimes we lose things and we get so uncomfortable with it. But just imagine my both hands are filled with items. My both hands, left hand, right hand, are filled with items. If you, abundant seed family, want to give me something, how can I hold it? How can I hold on to what you are trying to give me if my both hands are filled? And so sometimes when we lose something, it's not that we lose it, you know, but it is just preparation for something more. And sometimes this is what we have to look at. This is the concept we should take that if something is taken from us or if we... If something is taken from us, it's really just making room for something else. Remember who we are. We are the abundant seed family. We are planted by the rivers of waters. 
we must bring forth fruit. Remember that verse, and each of us should know that verse by now. Psalms 1 verse 3. We are planted by the rivers of waters, and we will bring forth fruit in our season. Abundant seed family. Know it in your heart that this is your season. Make it a declaration. This is my season. This is my time. Guys, if you are joining us for the very first time and you want to become part of what we are doing, all you need to do is press the subscribe button, become part of the community, like our video, and share our videos as we build this community together. Thank you guys so much. I love you. I love you. I love you. Till we meet again. See you soon. Bye-bye. God bless you.